Powered Air Purifying Respirators, or PAPRs for short, are used to protect the wearer from dangerous airborne substances. The TR-600 from 3M is one of a few different types of PAPRs utilized at St. Mary Mercy Hospital. This video will discuss the setup and use of the TR-600 by 3M. Before using a PAPR, you will need to make sure you have the appropriate supplies. You'll need the TR-600 unit, a battery, an airflow indicator, a breathing tube, breathing tube covers, and a hood. The first thing you'll need to do is take the breathing tube and cover it with one of the breathing tube covers. The cover is a long cylindrical plastic tube. You'll need to insert the breathing tube into the cover and pull it all the way through. When successful, take a twist tie and secure the cover to the tube at both ends. You should find the battery on the charger, remove the battery, and push the test button to make sure that the battery is fully charged. Attach the battery to the bottom of the TR-600. Power on the unit by pressing the power button on the far left. The unit will begin to run through a self-test startup sequence. Each of the lights will flash, and every light has a designated meaning. The battery charge status is located in the battery-shaped lights. The filter status indicator is the set of lights directly to the right. If all of the lights are illuminated green, this indicates a new filter with full capacity. If only the bottom light is illuminated, it will be blinking red and indicate a depleted filter that needs to be replaced. The airflow control is the button directly to the right of the power button. By pressing this button, you can increase the airflow settings. This is visible through the lights directly to the right of this button. To power off the unit, hold the power button until the lights turn off. Before you use the papper, you will need to ensure that the airflow is high enough to ensure your safety. You will need to perform a quick airflow check using the airflow indicator. Attached to the indicator is a card that shows elevations. The elevation of Livonia is 206 meters. If you find that on the chart and match that with room temperature of about 68 degrees, it will tell you that you need to have the ball floating at at least level E. Locate E on your airflow indicator. Turn on the unit and insert the airflow indicator into the open port. It can take up to one minute for airflow to stabilize. You should see the orange ball float at or above the level of E. If your airflow is sufficient, insert your breathing tube. Take the end with the two metal knobs and insert it into the open port and twist it clockwise. On the back of the hood, there's a port to attach the tube. Squeeze the ring and push the tube down onto the port. This should lock in place. It's now time to don the papper. Your unit has a waist belt attached. Pull it around your waist and clip it into place. You may need to tighten the straps. Take your hood and pull it to completely cover your face. It is not necessary to wear a surgical mask under your hood. With this model of hood, your ears remain uncovered. When it's time to remove your hood, grab from the back near the hose and pull it away from your face. This ensures that you do not pull a dirty hood up across your face. When you are finished using your papper, it will need to be cleaned. Using the gray top wipes, clean all exposed surfaces of the unit. Be sure to use a new wipe for every area. Remember to not only clean the unit itself, but also the belt, breathing tube, and mask. If the breathing tube is encased in a cover and the papper will continue to be used during that shift, clean the cover and leave it in place. Finally, replace the battery on the charger.